Hello. My name is Charles Webster Bear, and today is July 7, 2022, and I am in Redmond, Oregon, USA, and my website is globalinternetgovernment.com. And I am running for mayor of Redmond, Oregon in 2022, and please vote for me. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm a libertarian, which means I'm for more freedom, less government. <clears throat> I'm 53 years old. I'm a Buddhist. I've never been married. I don't have any kids. Um, and I was born and raised in Santa Cruz, California. And I went to high school in Newport, Rhode Island. And I graduated from the University of Hawaii at Hilo on the Big Island in 1994. And I moved to Santa Fe, New Mexico in 1995. And I moved to Portland, Oregon in 1999. And I created global internet government in 2000 in Portland, Oregon. And I moved to Bend, Oregon in 2007. And I moved to China in 2014 to teach English for three years. And then I moved back to Bend. And then I moved to Redmond in 2019. So, if I'm elected mayor of Redmond, Oregon, I will have an open door policy. And that means that every Monday at noon while I'm mayor of Redmond, as long as there's no ice on the ground and no snow on the ground and no rain, I will be at Centennial Park every Monday at noon to talk to, you know, any resident of Redmond about anything they want for as long as they want until the sun goes down. So, Redmond is great. It's a great city. It has great people working for it. It's a great government. Everything about Redmond is just perfect. So I'm not trying to change anything. Redmond's not broke and I'm not trying to fix it. Okay? I think everything that's going on in Redmond right now is going perfectly, and if I'm elected mayor, all I would say is you guys are doing a great job. Keep doing a great job. Thank you very much. However, um... I've got a lot of good ideas on uh, global issues, and I've got a lot of good ideas on um, world issues that I'd like to share with you today. Thank you very much. Uh, I think that Redmond, Oregon is in a great position and has a great opportunity to lead the world in the two most important political issues of the millennium 
Number one, environmentalism, and number two, transparency. Government fiscal transparency. And I think Oregonians are leaders, and I think it's time for us to lead. It's time for us to stand up and lead by example. It's time for us to do the right thing and show everybody else how to do the right thing, and then they can do the right thing too. So, in terms of uh, government fiscal transparency, um, we need to make sure that Every financial transaction that takes place on the Redmond, Oregon government is put online immediately so everybody can see exactly where the money's going. And once we finish doing that, we can do it for Deschutes County. And once we finish doing that, we can do it for Oregon. And once we finish doing that, we can do it for America. And once we finish doing that, we can do it for the whole world. That's transparency. I've also created a cyber currency uh, for the Oregon state government that'll be owned and operated entirely by the Oregon state government. It'll be 100% transparent and it'll be available to everybody on the planet. And it's called Cash, K-A-S-H. And I've also created a online voting platform that will be 100% transparent. It'll be owned and operated 100% by the Oregon State Government. It'll be available to everybody on the planet and it's called VOAT, V-O-A-T. Okay. And... I'm doing all these things to help America uh unite the world politically with freedom and democracy. And and then now let's talk about environmentalism. That's the most important issue on the planet for for this millennium. And we need to address it realistically, logically, with common sense. And so that's what I do. And my plan is called depopulationism. I am a depopulationist. Depopulationism was invented by the Chinese in 1980. It's called the one woman, one child policy. Depopulationism means that it is illegal for any human being to reproduce a second time on planet Earth for the next few centuries. Now, this is the only way to save the planet, and this is what we all have to do. All people have to do this right now in order to save the planet. And so it's time for us here in Redmond, Oregon to be the first ones to do that outside of China. And so if I am mayor of Redmond, I will work hard to make sure that we become a depopulationist city maybe the first one in the world, uh, or maybe the only one in the world. Not, we're not the first, of course, because China's the first, but if I'm elected mayor of Redmond, I will work to make it illegal for the citizens of Redmond to uh, be able to reproduce a second time. And I will make it, uh, yeah, so that's what that I'm a depopulationist. So if I'm elected mayor of Redmond, I'll try to make Redmond a depopulationist city, the only one on the planet so far, uh, right now. And um, and then I'll try to make Oregon a depopulationist state. I'll try to make America a depopulationist country, and I'll try to make the world a depopulationist planet. Because the only way we're going to save the planet is if we create a reduction in the number of people on the planet because that will allow us to get to a sustainable level if we're decreasing. Right now we're increasing, so we're on a suicide course to kill Earth, which is bad. 
Now, the candidates I'm running against, Jay, Ed, Ben, they don't talk about these subjects, either because they don't understand them or because they're afraid or because, you know, they don't care. So these people are not leaders. Leaders talk about import, the important subjects with solutions. Leaders identify what topics are relevant, and then they discuss those topics, uh, and they discuss the solutions to the problem. That's what leaders do. So my opponents in this race are not leaders, they're followers. And, you know, like... The Republicans are trying to overthrow the country. So when my opponents don't discuss this and say that's the bad, that's the wrong thing to do, they're complicit with the Republicans. You know? When, I mean, right now, religious people are trying to take away our rights as Americans. And I'm like, no, that's wrong. You can't do that. But my, my opponents don't talk about that, either because they don't understand what's going on or because they're afraid of what's going on or because they don't care what's going on. That's not leadership. And so, you know, and it, when it comes to environmentalism, these people won't talk about environmentalism. Because they, they don't know what to do. They don't have any ideas. They're clueless. They're not leaders. They're followers. And it's up to the voters of Redmond, Oregon to stand up and elect leadership. Real leaders who lead. And so that's what you need to do as a Redmond, Oregon voter is you need to elect a real leader. Like me, Charles Webster Bear. Thank you very much. Now, if you want less government, that's fine. I want less government, too. I'm a libertarian. But we need to move into the future. All, all my opponents are just living in the past. You know? And walking around in circles and just saying the same stuff that everybody else is saying forever. That's not leadership. We need to move into the future with leadership, and I'm the only one who provides that. Because I'm the only one who can, who can tell what topics are relevant and what topics aren't relevant. The Central Oregon media can't tell you what topics are relevant and what topics are irrelevant, because they're just mainstream media and they suck. So it's up to the voters to elect the leaders to lead the way. And that's what I'm doing. I'm leading the way. I'm saying these are the important issues. These are the solutions. This is what I'll do. And I'm the only one doing that. So, you know, please vote for me, Charles Bear, for mayor of Redmond. And feel free to contact me whenever you want. You can email me at depopulationist at gmail.com. You can call me on my phone, 541-699-9868. If you see me hanging out, come say hi. You know, you can get a beer, talk about stuff. But, yeah, I think next year is going to be great. I think Redmond's going to be fine, whoever is the mayor. I think Redmond's going to be great, regardless of who the mayor is. But if I'm the mayor, we won't just be great. We'll be great and we'll save the planet. And we'll have fun doing it. And maybe even make a little cash. And that's what I think Redmond's destiny is. 
I think Redmond's destiny is to lead the way for the whole planet by example, by doing the correct things first and showing everybody just exactly how you do it. And then the rest of the world will see us doing it correctly and that will inspire them and motivate them and educate them on how they can do it correctly as well in terms of government and in terms of everything else. We need to legalize marijuana. We need to legalize magic mushrooms. We need to legalize suicide. We need to legalize the death penalty. We need to, uh, we need to take the Republicans and throw them in jail because they're traitors. We need to tell the religious people to get out of the government and stay out. They're not allowed in here. And we need to save the planet with uh, depopulationism. And we need to send a message to the rest of the planet that they need to do this as well because time's running out. And so I look forward to this campaign. I look forward to a good campaign. I look forward to discussing these issues with my opponents. And I think my opponents are good people. I just think they're not ready to deal with all the big issues because if they were, they'd, they'd be doing that right now, like I'm doing. They just don't know how to level up and that's okay. I do know how to level up. So it's going to be a great summer. It's going to be a great autumn. It's going to be a great campaign. It's going to be a great election. And please get out and vote. And please register to vote. Please vote by mail. Please vote for me. And, you know... It's good. It's good to be uh, politically aware, politically, you know, involved. So thank you very much for your time. Uh, I think this is a pretty good video. I'll probably be making a few more here in a little while. And uh, peace in the hood. Vote Bear. Bear for Mayor. Views a true player.